My name's Colin West. While traveling this world's wine regions, I've now landed in New Zealand, where I'm meeting up with a local Kiwi girl, Joe Hawley, and a film crew, and we're going through the country's top wine regions to check out the natural beauty, the adventure sports, and the wine. The Wine Ram Experience. It's the way I'm spreading my passion of wine to the world. Joe and I just got into the city centre in Christchurch in the South Island and we've met up with Edward Donaldson of the Pegasus Bay Wine family in Waipara and he's taken us around showing us a few cool places. Edward, where are we right now? It's great. Yeah, so this is the Christchurch Container Mall. Uh, it was set up uh, after the quakes just to kind of rejuvenate the city and get people back into the city centre again, um, shopping and spending. Yeah, it's a nice vibe down here, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great vibe. Yeah, people seem to really like it. Um, a lot of the retailers um, are doing really good business. Um, it's been yeah, as good or better than what a lot of people had, had anticipated. So it's positive for the city. After hanging out in Christchurch, we decided to head further north through the Canterbury region towards Ed's family winery, which was located in the sub-region known as Wipera. Wipera and the surrounding regions are known for having three general terrain types that contribute to the great wine that's made here. That includes valley floors, hill slopes, and river terraces with a mix of limestone, clay, and of course gravel. We found a great way to explore the unmarked areas before going wine tasting. Cool. What was your favourite part? Oh look, I just loved getting out there, getting covered in water and, uh, and dirt, really. Just, uh, it was good, it was just like being a little kid again. Reliving it. You're reliving it, yeah. Speaking of dirt, are you guys interested in coming out and checking out a bit of our dirt at Pegasus Bay? Come and check out some of the two art and uh, see what we've got going on there. I started putting a bouncer on the door here because uh, there's been a bit of riffraff around the, the perimeter. <laughs> this is my bro. It is amazing that within one hour of riding quads through the rivers and hills of the Wiper wine region, we can now go with Ed's brother Matthew, the winemaker at Pegasus Bay, to learn all about the next stage in the winemaking process, the flavor development and ripening of wine grapes, once again, out in the vineyard. Money that we're pissing, my mind always running, looking for a game, never happened. Yeah, so these are our Riesling vines, we planted them in 1986, and uh, Riesling um, is, uh, goes really well in the White River Valley. Uh, Marlborough is really well known for Sauvignon Blanc, but the speciality um, of white wine for the White River Valley is Riesling. Uh, white River Valley gives a really um, unique uh, character in the wine. Um, it's a uh, um, it's an orange zest and spicy sort of flavour which is um, really unique and really exciting um, and we find that the longer we leave the fruit on the vines uh, the, uh, the more intense that character becomes um, so at Pegasus Bay we like a well hung wine and uh, if you leave the grapes for a really long time on the vines um, sometimes we leave them until June um, there's no leaves on the vines they're just hanging, hanging there sometimes there's snow you know around um, and at that stage they've almost always got um, botrytis which is a fungus that grows on the outside of the grapes and it sucks out some moisture and concentrates um, the wine and so you get the uh, really um, it also gives a flavor of its, of its own and you get the really amazingly uh, honey, spicy, um, beautiful wines that are good with, you know, cheese or dessert. Like wine <laughs> you that I would it. quite like. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, I reckon enough talking and maybe time to come and taste a few wines. Hell yeah. yeah. Finally, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Alright guys, well, time to taste some wine. 
bought a few um, a few wines out. I grabbed a couple of Riesling. Um, I've grabbed some wines with a little bit of age on them just to kind of try something, you know, see how the wines are developing. Bit of time in the bottle, so yeah, a couple of Rieslings and a, and a Pinot Noir. Obviously, we've talked about the Riesling and the Pinot over in the vineyard, so I thought it would be appropriate to, um, to give it a go. With our second cool climate wine region under our belt from the South Island of New Zealand, Joe and I started noticing a bit of a trend with varieties suited to these areas, including Riesling, Chardonnay, and of course, Pinot Noir. At this point, we've even learned everything that goes on in the vineyard prior to harvest. That includes all the different aspects of canopy management, flavor development, and the ripening of fruit. This means the next step is harvest and the final stage in the winemaking process that happens in the vineyard. We're going to do it in the home of Sauvignon Blanc, the Marlborough Wine Region. 